Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. Laws of Chemical Combination The first law of chemical combination is the law of conservation of mass which was given by Antoine L. Lavoisier. The law states that mass can neither be created nor be destroyed during a chemical reaction. And the second law was known as law of constant proportion. It was given by Joseph L. Proust. According to this law, in a chemical substance, elements are always present in a fixed proportion by mass. Now the next problem faced by scientists was to give an appropriate explanation of these laws. So there was a British chemist John Dalton who provided the basic theory regarding the nature of matter. He took the name atoms and said that everything that is matter is made up of small indivisible particles called atoms. And this word was given by the Greeks. His theory was based on these laws of chemical combination. And his theory is known as Dalton's Atomic Theory. John Dalton was born in 1766 in England to a very poor weaver's family. Because he was very poor, he started his career of teaching at the age of 12. Seven years later, he became the principal of a school. Then in 1796, he moved to Manchester to teach physics, chemistry and mathematics in a college. He spent most of his life teaching and researching there. And in 1808, Dalton gave his atomic theory, which was a turning point in the study of matter. So let us see what are the postulates included in Dalton's atomic theory. The first postulate is that all matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms. These atoms are indivisible and they cannot be created or destroyed during a chemical reaction. Atoms of the same element are identical in mass and chemical properties. For example, if we have gold, gold is made up of gold atoms and all these atoms have same mass and same chemical properties. Atoms of different elements have different masses and different chemical properties. For example, if we have gold and silver, both are made up of atoms. The gold atoms will have different mass and chemical properties than the silver atoms. Then the next postulate says that atoms combine in the ratio of small whole numbers to form compounds. For example, if we have hydrogen and oxygen, they combine in the fixed ratio of 1 is to 8 by mass to form water. The last point says that the relative number and kinds of atom in a given compound remains the same. For example, if we consider water. Water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen and every time two hydrogens will combine with one oxygen to form water. So these were the postulates included in Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.